Okay, children. So today again we are continuing with the chapter future time. Okay, where I had explained you all first what is future time. Future time refers to an action or a state of being that is yet to take place. We are saying now, but our action is yet to take. Okay. So I have explained all these to you all in the first part of the video. Okay. Now coming down, see here, you have got expressing future with the going to form. So how do we express our future actions with the going to form of the verb? Okay. Future action can also be expressed with the help of going to form. What are these? I'm going to buy this book. Is she going to move out of Delhi? I am going to do my worksheet tomorrow. I am going to solve my work tomorrow. Okay. So, we use the going to form to refer to. We use the going to form to refer to. What do we refer to? Number one. A plan or goal in the future. So, our plan or goal which we have on future. I am going to be a doctor. Okay, I am going to visit my grandmother this weekend. I am going to become an engineer. Okay, all these are our goals, our plans for the future. A prediction for the future which I said beforehand also. A prediction for the future with high possibility. The price of vegetables is going to rise after such poor harvest. Okay, the price of everything might rise with the situation where we, which we are going through. Okay, the next, the certainty regarding some future event based on circumstances. What is that? The sky is so cloudy and the weather is so stuffy. I think it's going to rain tonight. So, since the certainty, since it's very stuffy, it might rain tonight. So, I think it is going to rain tonight. That it is regarding some future event based on a circumstance. What is the circumstance? That the sky is, the sky is cloudy and the weather is stuffy. This is the circumstance. And what is the certainty? The certainty which comes up. That is, I think it is going to rain tonight. Okay. Our copies and books are so overcrowded here in this room. I think it is going to fall down from the tables and benches where they are kept. Okay. So, these are all certainty which might happen with, what to say, due to some circumstances based on the present condition. Now, the next. An action that has a component of indefinite. What is that? An action that has a component of indefinite. I am going to walk till late if there is no power. It is indefinite. I might do, I might not do. I am going to work till late. I, I am going to work. Definitely I am going to work. Why? When will I work? If there is no power. Okay. So, I am going to finish my work properly if I get my worksheets downloaded okay so this is an action that has a component of indefinite okay turning your page see here next you have got actions or events that are most likely to take place under specific circumstances though we are not absolutely certain about the occurrence of the action what is that the price of essential goods is going to shoot up within a week as a result of the recent price hike of petrol. Recent price hike is there. So, it is definite that the price of essential goods is going to rise up. Okay. So, a second sentence which I might tell you on is that the books, uh, what to say, the books are going to fall down since they are not kept properly on the table. Okay. The books are going to fall down 
as a result of the improper keeping of the books on the table. Okay, this is a definite action that are most likely to take place under specific circumstances. Since the books are not kept properly, it might fall down. Since the uh, pri there is a price hike in petrol, the essential goods, the price of essential goods might rise up. Now, what is future continuous? The future continuous is used to denote an action which is expected to be in progress at a certain point of time in the future. Our action will be starting in the future. It will be, it will be in progress during the future. I will be sleeping in the afternoon. Now I am just thinking at a in the afternoon I will start sleep, I'll sleep and I will go on sleeping throughout the afternoon. So that is a future continuous action which is going to happen. Okay. The action of sleeping in the above sentence will take place at a particular time in the future. That is the afternoon in the future. There is a certain definiteness regarding the action also. And the sentence denotes the continuity of the action in the future. Okay. We will all be playing on the rooftop in the evening more today. So, we will all be playing on the rooftop in the evening today. So, in the evening our our game is going to start and we are going to continue with the game in the okay. Now, see here the structure here. The continuity of an action, future action is expressed through the following combination of words. What are those? Will be I will be sleeping in the afternoon. I will not be sleeping in case of a negative sentence in the afternoon. Will you be sleeping in the afternoon? That is an, a, a, what is the interrogative sentence with a yes and no question. And what will you be doing in the afternoon? Interrogative sentence with WH. Okay. These are all the structures of the sentences which you have to have. Okay. Now, using a future continuous tense, when do we use it? A definite action which will be in progress at a specific time in the future. I say it all. A definite action which will be in progress at a specific time in the future. Students will be practicing for the program tomorrow. We will be working with our worksheets tomorrow. Okay. Polite inquiries. What are those? Will you be coming home sometime during the next week? When we are very polite and we are inquiring something, so we generally do it in future tense. Okay, future continuous tense. Will you be doing this work in the, in the uh, lab tomorrow? So that is a very polite inquiry. Will you do it? Okay. The next is a pre-scheduled plan to be carried out in the future. A pre-scheduled plan. We have pre-scheduled it. But we'll be carrying it out in the future. We will be visiting her aunt this week. We will be going to school next week. The next is an action expected to happen in the due course of time in the future. An action which is expected to happen. What is that? It is expected that the speaker and Sanjukta will be meeting at the school. Like it is a normal occurrence. It is expected. Okay. And accept an expectation. That is going to happen. It is expected that our teachers are going to hold a debate for us in the coming day. It is an expectation. A future action of longer duration. Interrupted by another shorter action in the future. What will that be? She will be studying when you visit her. So, when you visit her, this is also going to happen in the future. And she will be studying. That is also going to happen in the future. A future action of longer duration, which is the longer duration action here. She will be studying. And which is another shorter duration action here, when you visit her. Okay. So, there are two actions. One longer action and one shorter action. Both stayed in there. 
the continuity of our future action of studying will be interrupted by somebody. Somebody's visit is a shorter one and her continuity of her studying in the future is a longer, longer action. So understood very well with the chapter, my dear children. See here, you have got, let's practice. Okay, we will be doing all these. And so here our chapter ends here. My dear children, thank you so much. Please follow the chapter properly. Okay. Thank you.